Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Can you hear me? Okay, good afternoon, everybody. I can't hear you. Yeah, I can't hear you. Okay, you have to reply. Yeah, okay. So, okay, so this is the last uh, live session for this course. Yeah. Uh, so any, any question, any confusion, any doubt? Okay, no doubt. Any question? Uh, you can ask from any chapter. Uh, sir, I have a doubt uh, related to cantilever beam. Yeah, okay. So in cantilever okay. beam, sir, uh, the beam, uh, if we uh, write down the boundary conditions, mm -hmm. so at the fixed end, uh, the uh, deflection will be zero and slope will be zero. Right, right, true. And other end, uh, moment will be zero. Uh, moment will be zero, right, true. So let us say if, if in a frame I'm applying a force. Hmm. This will also give moment at the, uh, I mean, at the fixed end. Can I say, sir, uh, at the fixed end, moment is P into L? No. It's not known. How, how will you tell? You know it from mechanics, but you, if you think mathematically, how do you know that? So, sir, to get exact solution, if you solve the equation of hmm. a strong form, so yeah. we need at least four boundary conditions. Right. So, so you don't have four boundary condition? Fourth condition, sir, uh, we are not having. I mean, this is the only way we can, uh, by which we can get. We can make it moment P into L at a fixed end. OK. So okay, just a minute, OK. I, I answered that question. Okay, so your question is like this. So if you have a beam, which is like this one, and you have a force here, right? True? Yeah, yeah. and there is no moment, nothing. And uh, so differential equation, what will be the differential equation? Let's say EI is constant, okay? So you will write, uh, d for ui dx4 ti right minus px equal to zero what you have here is px equal to zero, zero. so you get uh, simply ei d4 ui dx4 equal to zero so right. my point is that uh, to solve this equation we need four boundary conditions yeah four boundary yes, so, so that's, all, that's, all, that's all i'm telling okay so what you have, the boundary condition, subject to boundary condition, you have ui, let's say x is from here. So ui x equal to zero is zero, is one. duy over dx at x equal to zero equal to zero is the second one, right? Slope has to be zero. Now, now uh, what else is there? Uh, there is no moment here, right? There is no moment here at the free end. So you, you have already specified the displacements here. Displacement means rotation is zero. This is the slope is zero. You are telling the displacement is zero. So force and moment, you cannot specify here. Either you specify this or force, this or moment, not both. Got it? Okay. So uh, you cannot specify 
फोर्स है फोर्स एंड डिस्प्लेसमेंट बोर्ड और मोमेंट एंड रोटेशन बोर्ड नो ओनली वन ऑफ देश बेस इज स्पेसिफाइड सो हेन्स इट्स डन हियर ओनली थिंग इज हियर नो मोमेंट हियर सो विल राइट ई आई d square u y d x square equal to zero. So because this, uh, at at x equal to l is zero because no this is the moment this is the moment. So m equal to this equal to this equal to zero. There is no moment, but there is a what? There is a shear force. This is this is this is the shear force. This at the end there is a force applied here like this one, right? So this is basically a shear force. D by d cube uh, u by d d x cube. Right? Yeah, right. So this is F not let's call. Yeah. So then you have key, what is that? E i e i uh, d square. Sorry, d cube d cube u y over d x cube is equal to. Is equal to what? Minus this is equal. No, that's not correct. This is equal to minus v. Yeah, this is minus v. Yeah, why? If you remember, uh, we had this equation. So, d m over d x equal to minus v. Right. Yeah? So, for this case, uh, v will be minus f f not. Right. Yeah, so where v is equal to our, our v is uh, we took v positive this way. So, so you see the derivation. In derivation, we assume v is like this, which is positive. So v is positive this way. Yeah, but uh, if you compare with this, you see this is downward. Hence, v equal to minus f not. So this becomes equal to minus of minus f not. Yeah, so because V equal to minus f naught. That's what is following this sign convention. Yeah. So what you get here is simply this is equal to f naught. Yeah. So you get the fourth one will be e i d q u y over d x q equal to f naught is the then this is the one the fourth boundary condition got it okay right sir yeah so uh, always remember the relationship right always uh, our positive is like this so we, we call it uh, see the derivation we call it uh, like this so this is uh, v v which is positive uh, and then uh, this we call it uh, this is m bending moment so th this this Uh, uh, the m is given by e i uh, d a square u y over d x. So don't be confused. So let let's say if you have uh, only moment here, say this is f m m not, then boundary condition will be displacement zero here. So u y equal to zero, d u y over d x equal to zero, and here. The this will be equal to zero now, right? There is no shear force here, so this you got it. This this will be zero, but m yes. m now here since uh, this is this way, so the bending moment is positive, and hence uh, you, you will write in this case e i d square d y d x square is equal to m not. Yeah. Uh, for this one, if you had uh, some m not this way, let's say, then you write e i d s square u y over d x square equal to minus m not. Uh, let us say in, uh, your problem is something like this. Yeah, so we have like this. This is m not. If we write what e i d s square U y over d x square. This is x equal to zero, right? Let's say it's, it's x equal to zero. X equal to zero is equal to what? What is the value here? Positive or negative? Positive, sir. No, it's wrong. Minus negative. Negative. 
negative. Why? Because this is this is formula for bending M, and M is M comes together. When you say M, M means this. This is positive sign. Means it, it will be anticlockwise at this end and clockwise at this end. Is known. Th this is the sense of this. This is e i d square u y over d x square. Yeah. So any moment come in in a couple. You know. So one this side, one this side. The sense you have to see. This is clockwise. This end anticlockwise. This end. But since this is anticlockwise, this end. Hence, m it will be negative. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yes. And uh, similarly, similarly, you have to see, like, uh, uh, let's say you have uh, a beam which like this one, yeah, and then you have a force here, F naught. Then one, your boundary condition becomes E I D Q U I over D X Q is equal to F naught positive or negative. Positive. Is positive? Positive. Yes, positive. Okay, let's see. Yes, positive. Okay, so EI DQ UY over DX Q equal to minus V. Okay, and wh what is the V here? V is positive. So we go to minus uh, V equal to F naught. Yeah, so it becomes F naught. So this is negative. You don't forget this. Remember, this equal to M, but this equal to minus V. So V equal to minus this. Got it? You should remember like this. M equal to E I T square U Y over T X square. But V equal to minus E I D Q U Y over D X Q. Remember, this is minus here. Why? Because V equal to minus D M over D X. Because of that, this is the relation. Don't forget the relation. This, this a minus comes into picture. Yeah. Uh, similarly, uh, similarly, the relation is uh, P X is equal to minus dv over dx. So this is also the relation, right? So you have minus in both of them coming. Got it? Yes, sir. OK. OK, any other question, guys? This is the reason why if you put uh, dv, dv equal to like this one, right? V equal to like this one, so minus dv over dx equal to px. So you can go from here. You can, since you know that this is equal to this and this is the, this relation, what you will see? You will see minus d over dx minus ei d cube ui dx cube, right? is equal to px, right? Or you get d4, ei d4, ui over dx4 is equal to px. And, and that's why it gives you dy, d4, ui over dx4 minus px equal to zero. See, this is consistent. You can put also here, since you know v equal to minus d, so you put m here. Right, so you will get minus, no, B equal to minus. Yeah, so so you can you can write like this, you know, in case of confusion, what you will do is uh, say, let's say uh, you have a forces given like this. So let's say this is F1, this is F2, uh, this is M1, this is M2. So if you have to write, this uh, as a boundary condition, how will you write? Forces I'm talking about, moments of, you can do very easily. Okay, so what, how to write? You can write like this. Here you have what? 
v at 0 is equal to what? v at 0 equal to minus f4. Minus f4. v at l is equal to what? f2. f2. Correct. Okay. Moment at 0 is equal to? M1. Correct. So, uh, we can, okay, just a minute. Let's say, uh, instead of, uh, I, I will do like this one. This sense, I, I want the moment to be like this. Okay, let's see this. Way. So, anticlockwise, see here. This anticlockwise, this anticlockwise, this upward, upward. So, we have drawn like this one. This is M2. Okay, this is M2. So, let's say this is the way uh, our forces are given. Means in positive sense, we are giving individually. This, these are the individually, mo individual moment, not bending moment. This is the point moment. Okay, this is a point moment we are given. M1, M2, F1, uh, M2, F2, like this. Okay, now uh, M0 equal to bending moment. Bending moment is M1, correct. Now, wh wh what about the moment at uh, L? Will be equal to? Minus M2. Minus M2. Now, now you know that M equal to, now you can you write like first and then you, you tell like that. Now you write formula, M equal to EI D square Y DX square, right? And hence you are you are telling about this you are telling, yeah, okay about this you are telling and you will tell that uh, e i d square u y d x square at x equal to zero is equal to m one. You tell e i d square u y d x square x equal to l equal to minus m two. Similarly here you can write so. It's, now you will write the v. So v equal to e i minus. Remember, it's a minus d d uh, cube u i over d x cube, right? So that means what? This is v v equal to like this one, yeah? So that means what? That means you are telling that minus e i. You can also write like this: minus e i d cube u i over d x cube at x equal to 0 equal to minus f1. Now see, here is also minus, here is also minus, see, automatically you know that this will be equal to f1, right? So you can also write like that, yeah? Okay, and uh, similarly, uh, you will write minus ei, minus ei, uh, sorry. Oh, yeah, so v, okay, v be equal to minus f1, right? So this will be, this is equal to v, this is equal to minus f1, so minus minus, so become, this becomes equal to f1, simply. Now, uh, here also you can write the same thing, minus ei, minus ei dq, u, dq, uh, ui dx cube at x equal to l is equal to, the, uh, uh, what is this? This is v, v at l is equal to f2, right? So you write equal to f2, right? Okay, so we'll see, this becomes equal to minus F2, here this becomes equal to F1. Got it? You can, you can write like this one, you know, as long as you understand, then you will be fine. So you understand the, what, from where it is coming. And it is important, if you miss the sign, you get different answer, remember that, yeah? Any, any confusion here? No, okay. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Uh, so here, uh, value of yeah. theta is in uh, radian, right? Yeah, but uh, see here, uh, bending. Uh, uh, whenever you are talking about the the, the bending equation. That is d square d x square e i uh, d square u e u i d x square minus p x equal to zero, right? So 
So this equation is for very small y. So u y u y is very very small. Remember, yeah, very very small. Yeah. So hence uh, everything is very small. So uh, what you call the slope slope is equal to uh, we also call theta is equal to d u y over d x. So, so basically, since d, d u, uh, uh, this is assumed that this is also, also a small what? This is also very, very small. Okay. Both are considered very, very small. So this is so small that although this is d u over d x, actually this is equal to like tan theta, right? Tan theta equal to d u y over d x. But since theta is very, very small, yeah, and hence, Hence, uh, theta is close to duy over dx. Yeah. So uh, this is a radian, but I may ask uh, the questions I have asked in uh, degrees. So you have to convert that. Yeah. So you, you will get theta equal to like this one, uh, but you have to convert into radian. Uh, this will be in a radian. This is in a radian. So convert it. Right? Convert uh, theta in degree will be is a theta r radian so theta r you know how to convert right theta r multiplied by 180 divided by pi yeah you will do then you get the theta in degrees angle in degrees yeah why why i why i ask for degrees because uh, you multiply by 180 divided by pi, so this number becomes a bigger, you know, so bigger, so it's uh, answer wise is convenient. Hence, I tell you, but uh, you have to just multiply by 180 by pi, you will get whatever answer you are getting, whatever you are getting in d u y over dx, multiply by. So, basically, what I, I'm looking for is this d u y over dx multiplied by 180 over pi. So first you find out what d u y over dx is, you multiply by 180 divided by pi, you will get the in degrees. And this is the answer. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, any other question? Hello, good afternoon. Yeah. yeah, yeah, good afternoon. Sir, if there is a situation like my u, u y is zero at both end, hmm. then I will choose the third and fourth uh, uh, column because first and second will be removed. My theta one, theta two is uh, are there. Okay. okay. But my force vector is non-zero. All f one, f two, f three, f four. Okay. Uh, so you are saying this is simply supported? Simply supported, you are saying, is it this case? Like this? Ajay? Uh, uh, so no, it's not rolling, sir. It's muted. Puted. It's. It, it is what? Puted, sir. Like. Uh, no, I'm not getting you. Sir, it is pivoted. Oh, I, I see. Okay. No, no, this is the same thing, man. So the, this is the same thing. This is the only thing that uh, there is no axial loading. It is fine. You can also write like this also. Okay. So like this and like this you are saying, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. It, no, both are same only because in bending, we don't see any, uh, don't, don't give any regard to the the axial uh, displacement right so hence both will be the same thing it's not uh, yeah this this is the meaning that it will cannot go uh, up and down but uh, beam can rotate here so after deflection this will may go like this depending on where the force is yeah okay so what are now, you asking uh, since uh, when we write the ku is equal to f equation yeah in the matrix form oh. Yes. But in u vector, my first and second element is zero. 
you uh, yes right so you, you y1 is equal to 0 u y2 equal to 0 that's true okay. yes so i will so i will remove first and second column from k uh, first and second column uh, from k uh, yeah true right and true. my f yeah and my f is non zero on all four f1 f2 f3 f4 all are non zero because there is a uh, p node here uh, no i did not get you so what kind of loading it has uh, so there is a uh, p node like P node Newton per meter on this beam. Yeah. Achha, you, you, you are Half asking part. the uh, home, homework problem. Yes, sir. So why we remove that first hmm. and second row also, sir? That's the like problem. Why we remove the second? No, I'm not getting. Otherwise, it. otherwise it will be like uh, four equation two unknown, no, sir. Because we need to find theta one and theta two only. No, I'm not getting the. You ask the question. You frame the question correctly. I'm not getting you. So, uh, sir, I think uh, there are four unknowns also because R1 and R2 is also unknown. R1 and R2, right? Equation four unknown. Uh, okay. So f first, you see that we which all things are given. What is given here? Displacements are given, and and what else are given? Apart from that. There should be bounding condition, no? So how will you write? In this case, if this is the problem has to be solved, the, if you have to write the differential equation, how will you write? First of all, you write uh, the, uh, the problem itself. This is EI D4 UI DX4 uh, equal to P0, right? So the, the, this is the equation you are going to solve, right? Subject to boundary condition. What is the boundary condition? Boundary condition is UI at x equal to 0 equal to 0 and u y at x equal to l is equal to 0 right done apart from that what are the other boundary conditions e i d square d uh, u by dx square is also be 0 on both end e i say again e i d square u e by right yeah so See here, uh, there is no moment here applied. Yeah, this is a free to rotate. At the end, you have force, upward force here because of this joint. But at this joint, there is, it does not take any moment. So then moment is equal to zero. So what it tells you that uh, in, in, uh, you know, basically you can write here that you m equal to zero here, right? So this is m equal to 0. There's no moment. And hence, you will write the second boundary condition will be EI d square ui over dx square, which is moment m, right? At x equal to 0 equal to 0. And, and similarly, EI d square ui dx square at x equal to l is also equal to 0. So you must have four boundary condition. Here, the displacements are given means equal to zero here moments forces are given means moments are given at this time so I, unknowns are what unknowns are what is the i mean say moment is zero which is given and we don't know what the theta is unknowns are theta one right so let's use this okay so theta one is equal to what? That we don't know. Theta two equal to what? We don't know, right? And then what we don't know? We don't know this. What is R one? We don't know. And then R two, we don't know. Yeah. Okay. Now, now, now tell me your question. Sir, that's why I was asking, sir. Like there will be now four equation. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we add R1 and R2, then there will be four equations, four unknown. Okay. Yeah. So we are using just two equations, right? So yes, uh, we'll use just two equations as we do always. So we have like K here, and then you will have U. U have, we will have 0, 0, theta 1, theta 2 is equal to forces. So, so whatever the force we calculate based on P0, so we get uh, based on this will be a function of p naught. This will be also, uh, let's call it, uh, 
f1 as a function of p net this f2 a function of p not f3 function of p not f4 function of p not right so you have to find out these forces right so you have to calculate to find out this yeah and hence uh, what will you do you, you will solve using third and fourth because uh, the values the r1 and r2 will be added so there will be r1 and r2 also added i will be here so you will have r1 r2 0 0 yeah so you got it and hence you will see r1 since r1 is here and r2 is here so you will you will not use that so you are going to not use this one you will you will use this so you are going to use this one k33 k34 k34 k44 multiplied by theta 1 theta 2 is equal to whatever the value this one is you have to find out what those values will be okay this value you may check okay so don't uh, take it from here and just uh, write you know so otherwise no you sir i found it sir it will be p naught l square by 12 right ah. so you you will be p naught l square over 12 here it will be p minus p naught l square over 12 uh, okay now you check whether it's correct or not okay so i'm just telling you the example so they are right sir yeah and then you find out theta 1 theta 2 from here once you have found out theta 1 theta 2 you put them here and multiply to get r1 and r2 got it yeah yes sir yes yeah okay uh, sir how to handle three noted element in case of beam sir because whatever the shape function that we are having mm -hmm. is only for two noted elements okay so let us say if i having three noted element then how to handle uh, three noted element okay so for uh, uh, three noted elements uh, um, first you have to see the degree of freedom right so although it's not in your course but uh, i'm just explaining so uh, things remain the same yeah so you have like this one how many degree of freedom you have total how many degree of freedom so for this six degree of uh, each node is two six uh, six degree of freedom okay so that means you, you can uh, you have a theta one uh, u y one theta one uh, you can say this one number one this is number two number three u y two theta two u y three theta three you have that right and accordingly your uh, 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 ui is given by n i uh, and you will add all of them so basically uh, you, you can say this is uh, n1 ui1 and so on right uh, it plus n2 ui2 plus n3 ui3 plus n4 theta1 plus n5 theta3 uh, theta 2 plus n6 theta 3 like like this one right so now the what kind of polynomial will it uh, represent so you can see like you will have uh, how many equations you will have six equations right so one equation one two three four five six things will be given for this one hence you will have should have the six coefficients so you y will be equal to you can say a plus bx plus c x square plus dx cube so then uh, d e x f x5 so ui will be of this order now yeah I rest is you have to find out the a coefficient such a way that it is going to uh, let's say this is u y one let's say not u y one but just u uh, u y let's say and uh, uh, sorry uh, u i will be like uh, given like this one if it is so we can say that n one is similar kind a one plus b one x plus c one x square plus d one x q plus e 1x4 plus f1x5. Rest is you have to 
find out these values based on some conditions and what conditions they have. You know that N1 has to be equal to zero at all degree of freedom except here. So meaning that N1, let's, let's say this is N1, this is X equal to zero here, right? This is X equal to L over two, this is X equal to L. So N1 at zero has to equal to zero, uh, is equal to one. Yeah, so that really means A1 equal to one. You, you got this answer. Right? So then in that case, N1, uh, A1 has to be equal to 1. So you got that. All others, it will be uh, accordingly you have to do. So N1 at L over 2 has to be equal to 0. So put the values there. N1 at L has to be equal to 0. Uh, DN1 over DX at X equal to 0 has equal to 0 because it will multiply to theta 1. And uh, it has to make it equal to 0. Right? and so on uh, and the dn1 dx at x equal to l over 2 has to be equal to 0 dn1 over dx over x equal to l has to be equal to 0 so you got how many equations 1 2 3 4 5 and here 6 and see you have 6 coefficient so you can find out each and every coefficient from there and you can have this one n1 once you have n1 n2 n3 all those things then now next thing is just to do follow the similar method of how you are doing okay sir thank you yeah okay uh, sir one more thing uh, the way we find u at any location we can uh, by this uh, equation hmm. we can find deflection at any location yeah so let us say okay. i would like to find out uh, uh, slope at any location hmm. so then which equation do we need to use for, for this one for three noted or for, for two, two noted for two noted two noted okay yeah, so to, for two noted, remember that, uh, so let's say start here. So, so let's say u, ui. Because I got it. We have to differentiate this, du yeah. here. Yeah. Right, so you get a, n1 plus u y1 plus n2 u y2 plus n3 theta1 plus n n4 theta 2 so you put, you put the value of x here in this you get and similarly theta will be equal to du u y over dx dx you will get dn1 over dx u y1 and so on right dn2 over dx u y2 plus dn3 over dx uh, sorry uh, theta 1 uh, um, cut it and then dn4 over dx theta 2. Okay. okay. Put, put the value of x, you will get that. Yeah. Okay. So similarly, in fact, you can also find out the bending moment at any point. What, how will you do it? You differentiate again. Right, so if you want to find out m at any point, you can do m equal to e i d square u y over d x square is equal to you can find out e i times you get d square n one over d x square u y one and so on. You get that. This will uh, you can find out the bending moment. Similarly, if you want to find out the shear force at any point, you can do like this e y d q u y over d x q. Yeah, and which is equal to you can find out like this so EI and DQ in one over DX square uh, DXQ UI one and so on. Yeah. So the, there were negative sign, right? Negative sign, true, 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 man. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. So minus, yeah, so negative, true. Yeah, this is how you can do it. Uh, which will give, give you a constant you know, because a n see here n is cubic here so you will find out that shear force is constant yeah so you got it yes sir this may not be this may not be giving you the correct answer but you know but but this is how you find out uh, uh, using fire element analysis. Based on the fire element analysis, you can find it. 
um, uh, what is the difference is the n n here is cubic so you know that if you represent three times this is going to be constant so what you are going to get is a shear force which is constant so if the shear force is constant or if there is no shear force in that case this will give you accurate result right otherwise no so in reality if the v is changing let's say it's linearly changing so in that case the the exact solution will be different from the finite element solution. But if you have the constant V, in that case, it will find out the exact solution. Yeah. So from here, you can okay. just extra information I'm giving you. Okay. Any other question? Any other question, guys? From other chapters also, you can ask. Hello, good afternoon. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, Arjun. Sir, if we have a cantilever beam uh -huh. and uh, the load is at the middle of the beam, then how you solve that? Okay. okay. Actually, there is a cantilever beam and load is in the yeah, middle. Yeah, yeah, got it. Yeah, so, so it this is a good question, actually. Yeah. Okay. So let's say like this one, and you have a like this. Let's say F not like this one. So how are you going to solve it? Okay, it's a very good question. Okay, now yeah, here first best thing is to always write down the differential equation. So we are start the differential equation, right? And what is differential equation in this case? E is is uh, we are assuming E i to be constant. Yeah. So we'll say d4 ui over dx4 uh, ei minus px equal to zero but px equal, there is no px here yeah so or uh, you can treat f not as a px yeah so you can either write like this uh, f not px I, two way I, I will tell you you can work as a two way so w one is uh, just you say this is px px itself let's say this is x equal to x equal to l over 2 where this is being applied yeah so this one l over 2 mm -hmm. so px you can write as now this is downward so i will write minus f naught and this is at exactly here where at x equal to l so we can write delta x minus l over 2 meaning that this one is only activated at this point only other points uh, distribution is not there so we can write differential equation as ey d4 ui over dx4 right plus f naught yeah so P px is a minus this one so minus minus plus so you get f naught del x minus l over 2 equal to 0 this is direct delta function yeah that really means this is equal to one what is the meaning of that where delta x minus l over two is equal to zero if x not equal to l over two yeah is equal to one at x equal to l over two yeah this is what the meaning yeah okay now you have this one now uh, you, you can have the other boundary condition as you know, right? So you have u y at zero equal to zero, d u y over d x x equal to zero equal to zero. You can write like that, and then uh, bending moment is zero, shear force is zero here. So you can also write like that. So you write uh, e i d s square ui over dx square x equal to l equal to zero and minus ei in d square ui d cube e, ui over dx cube is also equal to zero so the v is also zero here 
and the bending moment is also zero here. So you, you got that. So this, this is the fourth thing. Everything you will solve like this one. Only thing is like this, like how to get the force vector, right? So all things you, you got. So K you can calculate as usual. K you can calculate. Uh, U, as you know, is Uy1, Uy2, theta1, theta2. Uh, forces, how the forces you have to know. What, what are the forces? So F1, F2, F3, F4, which is, uh, uh, you are going to calculate based on this one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, plus some, um, there will be some reaction. So I, I so there is some reaction. So, so this F, uh, F vector is equal to like this. Plus reaction, every reaction, reaction will have one and uh, reaction will be one and three reactions, right? So we have R1 and, and we have, um, we'll also have a moment here. Yeah, so we call it R3, R3 moment. Okay, so we will have, uh, what we'll have, we have, have Z, uh, sorry, R1, we, uh, F2, and R2, 0, like this. Okay, now, now what? We have, uh, uh, sorry, R3 here. Okay, so how to find out F1 and F2, F3, F4? So we know that F1 is equal to, how do we write? F, uh, sorry, F2. We, let's say we have to find out F2, F2. You have to find out this one. Right? How do you find out? So F2, F2 equal to N2, right? N2 X multiplied by PX, DX, right? This is what we do, yeah? So where PX equal to, equal to, uh, yeah, we will write N2 X here. So N2 X equal to, we will have, uh, what is the value of N2X? Will be minus uh, 2 over uh, L cube, then X minus 3 L over 2 and X square. So this is what the N2X is. Yeah. Okay. You, you can see also here. So uh, if you put uh, X equal to L, so you get here. So you get uh, L minus L over two here, and here also so minus L Q over two, so you get one. Yeah, so fine. Okay, so you have this, multi uh, okay, and multiplied by this one, Px, and what is the Px? Okay, Px is uh, this, mm -hmm. minus F naught delta X minus L. So we have minus, minus uh, F naught, delta okay so minus f naught minus f naught delta x minus l over 2 right okay and uh, you have d yeah so actually we have x basically so this uh, uh, what by omega in this case we mean this is 0 to l right so this one is x basically okay done is equal to now see here uh, if you are going to integrate, you know that this value is going to be zero everywhere except x equal to L2. So what you will get is simply you put L over 2 here and L over 2 here. So, so basically you are integrating something. So uh, you are integrating something which is uh, some function from here to here will be function 0, 0, 0 and in the middle you have some value here and then 0, 0, 0, because this is how this one is. This value is going like here, 1, then 0 here. So multiply by this one, meaning what? The area of the curve will be simply uh, a minus F0 multiplied by the value of this at x over uh, x equal to L over 2. So basically, the simple the answer will be minus 2 over L cube. L over 2 minus 3 L over 2, L over 2 a square mm -hmm. multiplied by minus F naught. So this is the value of F2, simply. You put the value of X equal to L2 and you get it. Yeah, this will be the F2. And 
Since it is in the middle, I can guarantee that this will give you equal to f naught over two. Okay, I, I'm I'm just guessing it. It has to be like that. It will just since it is just in the middle, it is going to divide into two parts, and it will give you like that. Yeah. You can calculate here. See here, the minus f naught minus minus becomes plus. The, then uh, you have a uh, from here, you will get uh, minus L from here. So this give, uh, gives you um, uh, minus L. So, sorry, this gives you minus F, minus F over 2. Minus F. Okay. So you get minus L here, and then uh, uh, you get 2 times 2, 4. So 2 over 4, so half it makes L square, uh, LQ over LQ. So minus F naught over 2. Answer. Yeah. So, or similarly, you can get for all other. So, what you get is uh, f will be equal to uh, f over two, right? F over two, and then uh, for first uh, will be uh, f f over two for second also. Uh, sorry, minus f not over two for second also. It will be minus f not over two for third one and fourth one. Again, you have to find out what the value will be. And we will do the same way. Yeah. Uh, are you getting? Yes. Yeah. So yes. F four, you have to find out. So how will find out F four? Yeah. F four will be zero zero two L and uh, N four and uh, P X D X. Yeah. And uh, then then what? Then this will be uh, in N four is uh, zero to L zero to L N four is uh, one over x square and uh, you have uh, x over L x square yeah and then you have P x P x is minus minus F naught del x minus L over two P x will be equal to simply value of these at x minus l that's it okay so so uh, what are you going to do so this will be equal to uh, one over uh, l over two a square uh, minus l over two okay and then you uh, L over, uh, sorry, this is L square, not one over X square, it should be L square, L square, okay. Okay, so L square, uh, okay. And here you get uh, minus L over two, this one L over two square. And from here you get uh, minus minus f naught. Uh, that's it at x equal to l over two. Yeah, so the will be value you can see from here. So we get uh, uh, l square here. Uh, from here we, we get l cube. So um, and minus and minus becomes plus. So we get f naught. L divided by and two times two four uh, times two eight so f not L over eight we get like that yeah so so this is what you will get yeah so so basically you get f equal to uh, minus f not over two minus f not over two then you get f not L over eight Value here will most likely be minus f not l over eight. Okay, minus. Okay, you can calculate. Okay, and then you have r one zero r three zero, and you know that you are going to solve for this. So the idea is to get the values, those values. Yeah, that's it. No question. Okay. Any other question? Hello, sir. Yeah. 
सर मूडल अकाउंट पे सर वो जो मैंने री अटेम्प्ट कर दिया था तो उसके ग्रेड अभी तक उसमें ऐड नहीं हुए हैं जी नो डोंट डोंट वरी सो वो सब आई विल टेक केयर यू नो सो आई विल आई विल शेयर द फाइनल मार्क्स आल्सो ओके सो यस सर वो सब सो डोंट वरी अबाउट दोस थिंग इट विल टेक इट टेकन केयर ऑफ ऑटोमेटिकली यू विल गेट द हाईएस्ट मार्क्स व्हाटएवर यू गॉट यू विल गेट दैट यस सर या यस सर या या अदर क्वेश्चन हु वाज आस्किंग सर कैन वी ट्रांसफर दैट फोर्स फ्रॉम द मिडल टू द एंड एंड अपने अपोजिंग मूवमेंट yeah well actually you are doing the same thing here actually yeah so see here in this case uh, if you have a beam like this one and uh, if it is in middle like this one right so the if f not like this one so what happens you can you can fix it like this and then uh, you can find out what is the moments basically yeah so what 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 will be the end moment in this case so yeah, if you have like this one then you will have uh, so here it there will be half half forces f not over 2 f not over 2 why this is because the uh, summation of all the forces y direction has to be equal to 0 and hence it will be equally divided if you have l over 2 l over 2 okay then you can also find out what the moment is right so in this case Uh, you you will see that there will be a moment here uh, which will be clockwise at some place like the, this one uh, so so whatever the force is you have to take there will be reaction in this one meaning that this force is being uh, this effective as this force is being applied at here and here both you know so if it is f not is here after our operation p times n now we are going to integrate what it is going to do is tell you the same thing like this one but the opposite direction that's it meaning that f not is downward here the value what you get is f not over 2 downward here f not over 2 downward which is coming from the reaction force only and it will be equivalent to reaction force but minus of that you got it So yes, simil uh, similarly, similarly you can think. Okay, so all these are mechanics, so I, I did not get into all those things because the students are who are coming from outside the department also. But you can also think that way. Yeah. So, so this is F not here, and this is F not over two, F not over two, and then there is something to support on both the sides, right? So most likely, whatever we calculated, the moment. Uh, that you get uh, maybe you can calculate let's try to calculate see if possible probably this may be indeterminate probably we cannot find this one so let's say if this is m yeah so value from this side will be also m exactly the same one so what you will see here is c you cannot find out simply this indeterminate problem yeah so this one is uh, if not if you like this one in determinate problem because uh, if you have moment applied like this one if you take moment so f not times l over 2 and this uh, yeah so this m is going, going to be cancelled by this one so you cannot find out m value but if you solve it uh, using the uh, this uh, beam equation uh, then you, you may find that whatever we found out f l over a you will get the same thing so that m you will find is a, as f l f not l over a equal to f not l over a you may find this one so basically the physical significance whatever you are uh, you are getting you are getting the reactions only but in the opposite direction here it in real life the the uh, end uh, moment will be clockwise hence negative but uh, the value we got is positive hence the negative of the reaction so this, this is relative basically the the big picture so what is the meaning of that got it yes sir yeah any other question 
So are you able to follow this? So I hope uh, whatever discussed today is uh, like easy to understand by all. So any any confusion, anybody who could not understand the first too much. Yeah, of course, this is, uh, you know, problems we are taking from the mechanics or the mechanics and all. Yeah, but uh, that's why I gave background also. Uh, we are also looking at from mathematics also. Uh, and also giving the big picture connected to the mechanics uh, also, so that you also understand the physical significance. Yeah, so that way it's easy to understand also. Okay, any other question? Okay. So along the same line, let us say if you had a force which is not at the middle, but it's here somewhere. And let's say the distance from here to here is A and here to here is B. Yeah, something like that. So again, uh, you can use the same method as you have done earlier. Otherwise, you know that uh, if you want to just uh, find out this force, so you can do it uh, very easily. So you know that for simply supported, if you are simply supported both the ends and force is here, if not here at A and B, you know that the reaction forces here will be F not B over A plus B. And here, this will be F not A over A plus B. So you know that automatically that the force here in the mid will result into force here, which will be opposite direction of this, but the same value. Yeah, so, so you can say that this is F1. So in this case, F1 will be equal to minus F not B over A plus B. Yeah. Minus Y because this will be downward. Since the reaction is upward, so actual value will be downward, which is of the same uh, direction as F naught itself. Yeah, so it will be like this one. We are considering the magnitude of uh, force as this and, and value downward. Yeah, so hence we will get like this one. And F2, you will get equal to, uh, see here, this is, this is uh, again, upwards, so we'll take the downwards, so it will be F2 equal to again minus F0 A over A plus B. Uh, this will be F2. Yeah, so you will see the same thing divided into two parts, this and this. If you add them together, uh, you will see this F1 plus F2. If you add them together, you will get equal to minus F, F0. So minus F0 meaning that magnitude F0 and direction, negative direction. Yeah, so just the inside, basically. Okay, questions? Okay. Okay, guys, there's no question. Okay, um, all the best. And uh, uh, you have uh, exam on on coming Saturday, starting ten o'clock. Ten o'clock to noon, two hours exam. Okay. And uh, wish you all the best. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. It was nice. Okay. So we never met actually. You know. Uh, I mean, face to face. <laughs> so it was quite a strange uh, in meaning that, you know, so I mean, interaction was always, if you, if you, it is in the live class, then it uh, becomes more easier for both the students and uh, instructor also. But given the circumstances, okay, so this is what we could do. Okay. Okay, so. Keep yourself safe and healthy, okay? And uh, wish you all the best for the exam, okay? 
Okay, guys. See you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir.